what's up YouTube, this is Lee from Cars of Zeus. Um, last week, you may remember, well, if you watched the video that I was doing, um, a video on why I'm keeping my Cayman S um, for at least another year. And, and I, I mentioned that because I felt the market wasn't great. And uh, it also, it, it, I think it gives me an opportunity to maybe do modifications to this car that you know, I wouldn't have done before. So I, I, I think, I think it's uh, all turned out positive in the end. I mean, this will be my my, my third year of ownership, and um, yeah, I'm quite looking forward to the uh, the year ahead. One of the modifications that I I mentioned, I was talking about uh, a throttle pedal. Now I understand from the Yank fan base is that what they they call a throttle pedal, what we call over here the accelerator, but I was sort of in the ballpark. I was referring to something called a pedal commando or pedal commander, which it helps the response time in the acceleration and that gets attached to the throttle pedal or accelerator, you know, whatever way you want to, you know, refer to it. Um, and, and it's a small, small procedure that happens down here. And, uh, and, and apparently it's meant to be a, a good little modification for a, a sports car. And, um, yeah, considering it's only 250 quid, I, I think it's, it might be something I'm going to do. Another thing that I mentioned in my video last week about the Cayman S and its condition, and I mentioned that I put in a touchscreen system. I called it a Panasonic, but in fact, actually, it's a Pioneer system. Um, it's top of the range, and, and I've got all the... Uh, correct stuff put in including the, the face mount you know that matches the grey that's on on the original PCM unit um, it, it looks completely flush and looks fantastic so if I did go for the new uh, PCM Porsche 987 sort of system it would just be uh, you know because it was something I wanted to add but it, it certainly won't increase the value I don't think one of the other things I mentioned, um, I was looking at maybe improving the suspension on the Cayman S. And I also said that the actual the sus the suspension itself is in fantastic condition for something that's got 56,000 miles on the clock. Um, I had this confirmed to me this week, actually, because I decided at a drop of a hat just to drive to my local... Porsche dealer, specialist Porsche dealer, not Porsche themselves, but someone who, who sells Porsches and, you know, they work in the area and have done for many years. And they also repair cars as well, which is great. So it's, it's definitely a, a good contact to make for the future. Um, and I, I mentioned to him, you know, about suspension and all that sort of stuff. He said, come Lee, let's jump, let me jump in, take me for a quick spin. And I was like, all right, okay, fair enough. So... He jumped in the car, I took him up for a quick spin, went about a mile up, then went round and round about, and then we come back, we hit a few potholes, and, and uh, a bit of an even road, and, and all that sort of stuff. We pulled up, he's, he's just basically just turning around saying to me, he says, Lee, I wouldn't get it done. I wouldn't. The the uh, suspension's fine. You know, for the, for the age of the car, the, the amount of miles that you've done in it, I'm surprised that the suspension doesn't need doing, but it is absolutely fine. So I was like, all right, okay. I mean, getting adjustable suspension is, has always been something I've I've thought about. Um, but if if I don't need it, then I, I, I won't I won't get it. We also had a, a discussion about the Porsche market in general. Uh, and I mentioned to him that, you know, I, I did put up this car for sale for in, the end of February. And uh, he was very surprised that it didn't go. And to be honest with you, I'm, I'm, I'm surprised by that. Um, but I, I think things happen for a reason. And, and I'm, you know, I'm, I'm looking for the future and I'm happy. I'm, I'm keeping the car for sure. And uh, it's going to be good times ahead. You know, especially with what I've got, what I've got plans to to improve it, and um, I know there's a 
a possible road trip on the horizon as well going up to wales so we'll, we'll take this so yeah that that should be fun and uh yeah a few things in the pipeline well anyway getting getting back to the subject about this chap that i spoke to the porsche porsche dealership uh he's he's had to sell other makes as well um over the past what a few months because these cars are not cheap and uh people um are hoping that they're going to come down in price but they're not they're not going to come down in price the ones that are going to come down in price are the ones that have not been looked after uh they haven't got a full history um and you know if they're cheap they're cheap for a reason there's something someone's not telling you um and uh you know you've got to look out for that if you're looking for a car just be wary that you know you're paying for what you get and if you go to a porsche dealer you know someone who specializes in porsches or porsche themselves you know you, you know you're gonna get a good car plus the other added fact if you buy from someone who's a porsche member like myself or you know and, and they're selling a, a good car as well got full history and they can show you that then it's a no-brainer i'd always pick a car with a porsche car with a porsche member than someone who sells one from a car showroom um you know second hand showroom is who's taking it in as a trade-in but a specialist porsche showroom yeah trust them 100 percent it's also interesting to hear people's views on the uh 987.1 and a 997.1 uh, you've got the smaller brother and you've got the, you've got the bigger brother um, you've got the Cayman S and you've got the Porsche 911 from that era and um, he, he said to me he believes that the, the Cayman S is, is, the, is the better car I don't know, I, I really don't know I mean, uh, hardcore 911 fans would be like, new way um, I, I love the Cayman S. I love the way how balanced it is. I, you know, everything about it. I love a mid-energy car. Always have done. And most probably always will. Um, but, yeah, I, I know there's something special about a 911 for sure. But I think there's an argument there to have. You know, it is a good debate. Um, I think the old school 911 people <laughs> won't even acknowledge it. Um, you know... Uh, it, it, it's bizarre it, it really is because it's such a fantastic car they're missing out as far as I'm the, the bigger Bravo has got a bigger engine for sure but handling wise this is one hell of a machine and uh, when they made the Dot 2 they they improved it <laughs> you you know the 987 Dot 2 they improved it and then they made the 981 you know the Cayman has just gone from strength to strength you know the same same as with the with, with the 911 it's gone year after year it's gone from strength to strength uh but and uh yeah fantastic cars and uh i think if anyone in the uh in in, in an ideal world could own one of each then, then that, that would be great you know but it came with this and a 911 you know that 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 would be amazing well anyway Thanks for uh, watching. Thanks for listening. I, I hope I've cleared up a couple of things from the from the from the previous video, and uh, I hope you know you you like the content. Obviously, like and subscribe if you can. You know, it'd be, it'd be great. And um, I'll do another video within a week. Have a good day. See you.